hello guys you are welcome back to adorable kitchen my name is adora i live in chicago illinois i'm going to share with you this perfect oba recipe oba kumkum oba cup oba night mile of enugu state oba og river oh my god so guys if you're interested please balance well get your coke and your pepsi because at the end of this video you're going to join me you're going to test you're going to test this up and see if it makes sense okay i also shared all the tips and tricks on making a perfect opera so stay tuned and continue watching so the first thing to do is to boil water in a kettle then get another pot the pot that you want to use in cooking the opera add water there cover it and let it start boiling because you need boiling water for opera then i'm going to show you the list of our ingredients while our water is about to get boiled okay so here is our mixing bowl here i have four cups of opa flour also known as bambara um nuts flour over here is our scotch bonnet pepper opa require um lots of pepper but just add according to your choice here i have some red palm oil oh, but needs lots of oil so that's not the only thing i used in this video here i have oziza seed which is optional oziza seed gives up oh, this um hot taste and hot flavor here i have some salt and here i have my aluminium cookware you can make use of foil or banana leaves so the first thing is to chop our pepper i love to chop my pepper in um, big chunks so that i will be seeing the particles in the upper but just go ahead and chop the pepper according to your desired size <music> to mix the upper just pour the upper flour into your mixing bowl next add your palm oil and mix everything together Oh, but needs lots of palm oil okay because you need the color to pop but you can't kill yourself okay just add according to what you have so i added my palm oil and i gave it a thorough mix i have different method of making up but if you watch my previous or my video you notice that that method is different then after mixing everything together you are sure that the oil and the oba flour um, have mixed properly together add some lukewarm water okay not cold water not very hot just lukewarm water add it to the oba and continue mixing so in case you are mixing your oba and you notice that you need to add more oil this is the right time for you to add the oil because once you add water once you add more water to this mixture you cannot add oil anymore because if you do the oil will only sail at the top it won't mix properly anymore with the oba and that is why sometimes after making oba you see that the oil is at the top and your oba is at the bottom of the either um, waterproof or container that you used so that is what i've observed that could cause that okay if you add more oil after you must have added a lot of water it won't give you a homogeneous oba mixture so that is one tip now the oba is completely um, dissolved you can see there's no more lumps in the mixture and this took me only about um, five minutes for me to achieve this um, mixture it didn't take me a lot of time okay so the next thing to do is to add the lukewarm water just add more lukewarm water then how do you know when to stop adding water the consistency of oba should be lighter than the one for moi moi so the consistency should be nectar thick okay nectar thick or you know the consistency of soya milk you know our soya milk that's the soy milk so you know it is not um thick it is not too thin at the same time so that is the consistency you should aim at then what you see me doing now i'm just checking to see if there are any more lumps 
in the mixture so once you do your hand like that and if you see if there's any lumps you see it at the back of your hands but as you can see now everything is just fine there's no more lumps inside so that means our mixture is ready so the next thing I did I just washed my hand and I continued with my spatula so the next thing now is just to add our other ingredients which are salt Oziza seed which I already um, ground and then the um, pepper I have an Oba recipe in that Oba recipe I added crayfish I added seasoning cube some people were complaining in the comment section they were against me adding crayfish and seasoning cube and I understand where they are coming from because traditionally we don't add any of those things to our bar that does not mean there is no room for a twist yeah traditionally we add just oil salt and pepper to our bar but have you ever wondered why if you buy our bar outside it tastes so good than the one you make at home yes the one you buy in ninth mile the popular of ninth mile don't you know that they add um they add crayfish a little they add seasoning cube that is why their oba tastes so good so before you start complaining just try it and you will understand what i'm saying but this one i'm just going to keep it basic no crayfish no seasoning cube no onion okay we're just going to make this one the basic oba that all of us know so after mixing after adding all those um pepper and the salt it's time to scoop the oba transfer it into your cooking where it can be um nylon bag which i know is not healthy or your aluminium foil pepper or your banana leaf tip number two make sure that the water is boiling very very well boiling before you add your oba that is because if it is not boiling the oba is going to sediment and that means that the up part will be liquidy than the down parts i hope you understand what i mean so to prevent that make sure that you um transfer the oba directly into a pot of boiling water and always stir the mixture before you scoop it into your cookware and don't let it sit by the side like don't even try to pack the whole containers and scoop the oba inside before transferring into the pot of boiling water so you have to do this near your pot of boiling water so that immediately you are scooping into your container you are putting it inside the pot of boiling water don't even let it sit by the side because if you do that it is going to sediment it will form two layers and that means if you cook it the below will be very hard and the up will be too um soft okay i reserved some of the red scotch bonnet pepper then i added it um after pouring the mixture inside the containers just to have this reddish color at the top now uncover the pot and let the oba start cooking you need to cook it for 45 minutes or more also make sure you have boiling water handy so that you can always add whenever the one in, you have in the pot um dry out so it's about to dry out so this was after 45 minutes our oba is ready can you see that can you see that okay guys um i think we are almost coming to the end of this video and i hope i explained everything that you would want to know in making a perfect oba and i want to use this opportunity now to thank all of my subscribers especially our new subscribers i see you all okay i see all our new subscribers i appreciate you guys for clicking that red subscribe button you are welcome to this channel please stay tuned and if your notification bell is not yet on please turn it on so that whenever i put a new video you will be notified and to my returning subscribers God bless you all. I so much appreciate all of you. And if you are still watching and you're still considering almost subscribe or almost subscribe because subscribe is there. Oh, please subscribe. Okay. Subscribe. 
So our oba is ready. I love oba with coke. In fact, I pet this one you see here with coke. Um, thank you so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and have a nice day. Bye.